welcome back to ASP.NET MVC tutorial I am Ashish so this is part 24 of this video series now in this tutorial I am just going to discuss about how can you divide your whole page into several components using bootstrap grid system okay so here you can find the example of bootstrap grid system in the first example you will notice that I have just used this call MD4 class three times it means I have just divided my page into three parts okay so this number can be varied from 1 to 12 okay it means you can have maximum 12 column on your screen okay so if you want to divide your whole page into two parts then use this call md6 then call md6 class okay and if you notice that the sum of this 6 and 6 would be equal to 12 okay and if you want to uh, divide your page into six part then you can use this call md2 then call md2 six times okay so let's have the view of my blog so here you can find the whole page is divided into several component like it has navigation bar the header section the content section where I have just placed some content and here is my sidebar where I have just put some uh, uh, ad and the content link okay so this is my local project right now I don't have anything except this navigation bar and then f this footer okay now this is coming from the layout okay and the extra padding is coming from the uh, contained class okay so you can find I have nothing on my index page so here if you notice that I have just used this container body contain so that I have this padding here okay so now let's divide our page into component okay so first I will use the class equal to panel which will uh, which will be used to have some padding around my page okay so I will just use this panel panel body okay now you can use div okay so use this div let's put class class equal to call md suppose 6 and 6 okay so let's copy this two times okay and write something inside this hello hello now refresh your page there you go your whole page is divided into two parts let's try to split it into four parts so you just need to use column d3 and column d3 and again copy this two times uh, okay so column d3 has four and just refresh this page here you go so I have just divided my screen into four parts okay so let's try to put some image so I have several images in my folder so I, I will just use this logo and just put it inside this so instead of this text box or text I will just use my image okay so let's try to refresh this so you just need to use uh, the image responsive class okay so if you want to see just put image responsive so that it, it can just adjust it within div so img responsive okay so it will be adjusted inside your width so just used uh, just try to use this image just copy this and just paste it here and just paste it here and then paste it here okay so now you can clearly see the difference okay so now it's going to uh, show you four images okay so now let's try to implement something different okay so I am just going to use the uh, 
sidebar okay so just create a sidebar class equal to call md call md3 okay and just you have to take another div which will be my body content so just take it 9 and 3 to 9 okay so that 9 and plus 3 would be equal to 12 okay now I will just place this logo inside this and here I will just put some content okay so let's add this this image and also you just need to put image responsive class img responsive img responsive okay now let's see this time what's gonna happen so here you go you have just divided 3 to 9 ratio okay and uh, let's try to use the panel class so panel class uh, is very important class you can you can de decorate your page if you are new to this panel class then you can watch my previous uh, bootstrap tutorial video okay so you just need to use panel and the panel has the you can choose your panel type just panel default and inside this panel you can use the another div that that would be you can use this class panel and space panel heading so panel heading and then you will be having panel body okay so this would be panel body okay just remove this panel because inside this you don't need to use this panel okay so this would be panel heading so inside the panel heading you can use your h4 okay so inside the heading tag let's suppose I want to use this uh, director message message okay and inside the body content I will just use image this image X and control V and here I will just put some H I will just use this H3 or maybe H5 and instead of using this use this H4 okay or you can use this paragraph okay hello welcome to the techno tips MVC okay and I'm just going to use this my image where it is use something different director and you can just put here okay and just use this class responsive here just control X and control V and just remove this okay so here you can now just refer try to refresh your page and you can see the panel header then uh, you can put some content into panel body so director message and here is your and now let's try to put some extra content into your body so let's try to put H V and put some HR horizontal row and website web solution so use web solution Sh web solution okay now let's try to refresh your page so here you can see you can put any content on your website okay now again I'm just going to put some large image here so that you can have so here you go you can see your website okay so 
here uh, I have just created a uh, header section uh, footer section using bootstrap call MD class so I'm just having this template I'm just copying it and just pasting it here inside this footer so I will just replace this footer with my footer I have just created using this call MD class so here you will find this I've just used this call MD4 then call LG4 I've just used this call LG4 okay so you can use this call LG call MD call SM okay which will be very from 1 to 12 okay now le let's refresh your page so I'm just uh, minimizing uh, I'm just removing this one more image so that you can see your page okay so that you can see your footer so here here you can see I have just created this footer using call MD class call LG class okay so similarly you can uh, divide your whole page into several section using this call MD class it's a very amazing uh, class and uh, moreover it is responsive okay so what is responsive means uh, if suppose if I want to use this uh, in mobile view so so my uh, sidebar is just shifted upward and my content is just beneath this and I have this uh, uh, footer section so I have used this call LG call LG, call LG4 class okay so automatically my all contents it's just uh, aligning vertically okay so this is called a responsiveness so bootstrap call MD class also uh, just focus on the responsiveness okay so also I have just created a navigation bar bar select all copy and just I will just replace it using and also if you are new to uh, Navi uh, bootstrap tutorial then you can watch uh, how to create this navigation bar using bootstrap okay so I will just place uh, bootstrap link in the below description okay so here you can see in the navigation bar I have just used this container container I have just used this nav bar header and then I will be having this collapse nav bar collapse class and then about section okay so now let's refresh this page so here you go so my website is ready okay so I have my nav bar brown then my services drop down and then about us carrier then this text box and login so I will put uh, all the code uh, on my blog so that you can have a good idea about this okay so that's all about the call MD class and uh, you can just build a great website using this strategy okay so thank you very much for watching my tutorial if you like it then give a thumbs up and if you have any comment then do comment and please share my videos uh, to your friend and uh, thank you very much have a great day